Well, crest before eight, he could maybe coast in from there, but he's got a long way to go. And Damien Faulkner is gaining on him. He was 40 seconds or so behind him as he went across the line. Right, here's Damien. Damien coming Damon's up the hill. Gone past he's him. already gone past him. Yeah. Yet, so uh, I think fancy Nick, Nick Ham might get him as well. And I think that problem might cause the number 23 battery tender car to go all the way back to fifth place. So he's going to have to do an extra lap because I don't think we saw the last time around. He's nine. Eight. Oh, hang on a second. We've just dropped to zero. Do we get the check of this time? No, we get the one to go. Dennis Paul does put the one to go up this time around. And Guy Smith is 30 seconds near enough in arrears in second place with Stephen King back in the third. So the interest will be in GTC, where it's just seven tenths of a second between first and second in GTC between Von Molke and Pumpelli. So the two TRG cars are battling it out. Gunnar Jeanette will come home in fourth and win prototype challenge. Jan Magnussen's only got 3.9 seconds between him and Melo, and there's traffic there as well. Dirk Werner is only 12 seconds. He's close to within 12 seconds of the leader after that stop-go penalty for the avoidable contact. But it's we've still got a battle. Only four tenths of a second now between Von Moltke and Spencer Pompelli will pick up that. There it is. Absolutely together, coming round the far side of the circuit. These are teammates, but I tell you what, in the last one and a half miles of a two hour, 45 minutes race, you can say what you want. There's no team orders here, Jeremy. This is every man for himself. Isn't that right? This is a what? tremendous battle going on. Wonderful stuff here. And there, there goes the race leader. What a wonderful victory for 